Hey everybody, Dishadar here, and I'm sorry for the lawnmower noise, or a leaf blower, sounds more like a leaf blower. But anyway, uh, I kind of can't help it considering um, it's about to be late and the mosquitoes come out at night, so you're going to have to bear with me. So anyway, uh, this video is going to be talking about bowing during... Oh, it stopped. Um, this video is going to be talking about bowing and like bowing your head or bowing on the floor um, in ritual or when doing prayer. Now, since many of us, and there goes the helicopter, <laughs> since many of us tend to come from uh, Christian faiths like Catholicism or just general Christianity, since there are many different forms of Christianity that I'm not all that um, well versed in, admittedly, but you know, I know they're out there and from for the most part, there tends to be, um, you know, uh, like when you're about to go to bed or when you wake up for some people and when you're praying, you know, you bow your head or you bow on the floor, you know, to pray. So the question is, you know, should we do, should we do it as pagans um, or, and do we have to? And of course, the obvious answer is no, we don't have to bow our heads. And we don't have to do any of that, really, since at the end of the day, we don't. There is no religious mandate on how we pray or to pray in general. You know, it's up to the individual. Because personally, when I was Christian, of course, I prayed. Since, um, you know, I was mandated. I don't know if it's in scripture as mandated, but then again, I haven't looked at the Bible in like five years, so I'm kind of sketchy on the mandates and uh, social norms as far as on a religious level in Christianity. But I know definitely for paganism there is no mandate that you have to pray how to pray or anything like that. It's just that personally I choose to pray and that's for the simple fact that I like to give thanks even though I already know that I give thanks you know when I'm eating or when I'm praying I mean when I'm going to sleep waking up I know I'm thankful for it. It's just that on some occasions more than others I just feel a little extra, I feel a lot more thankful. You know, like if I had a hard day or I'm really, really hungry, then I'll decide to. But when it comes to ritual, it does the same apply. And to that I say, yeah, it's optional. You know, some people see bowing as a form of, you know, you lowering yourself, of submission. Whereas others see it more, instead of being of submission, it's just doing it out of respect. Uh, like if you're in the military, even though in a in a twisted sense, because it's the only it's the best example I can come up with. Like if you're in the military, if you see someone of a higher rank, you salute. If you you know are in um, well, I don't know how it goes on uh, for like Britain and anything like that, because I know they have something like a monarchy, not a pure monarchy. It's just a different form. I'm not too well versed in that either, but I know you know depending on what your job is, you're required to do certain things when you're in front of people who are of higher rank or quote more importance to you whether that be political or uh, just by rank as far as years spent in a certain um, service or something like that so you know me I I um, bow my head when I'm doing um, uh, prayer both ritual and just in a semi in a more secular sense as far as you know before I eat and go to bed but now I'm starting to second guess it like like I said it's optional for me it depends on how I feel but I'm starting to you know I'm feeling more curious about trying just not bowing down in general because I just want to try a certain style and try to diversify my practice because you know the argument could be made that by you not bowing your head you're showing that you walk with deity that deity is not more important than you and you're not more important than it but it's more of an even playing field when the both of you walk side by side hand in hand you know and that you're just walking along the path of the um which is seen as better than you know you bow your head thus showing submission thus saying that you are weaker than deity you are weaker than whatever divine figure you choose to pray to and by showing submission, in a way, it's like playing, not even playing the victim, but just, you know, being like things are in your hands. I don't have the capacity, and here it goes again, 
and say that I don't have the capacity to do things myself or I don't have the capacity to just walk with honor or with my head up you know I give things in your hands and that kind of victim play is what many would associate more with Christianity and their beliefs um, rather than pagan beliefs so I see where they're coming from both who say you know who are pro and anti bowing but at the end of the day it's not really that big a deal it depends on the practitioner but it's good to look at both sides and mix it up a little you know it's whatever you choose to do but like I said if you want to bow you know it in it and I know it seems as if I, I am biased against bowing but to give the those who decide to bow it may not be that you're borrowing because you're submissive or to play the victim or anything like that. It could be that you're just doing it as a sign of respect. You know, like if you are with someone who, um, like say you have a group of your family and there's your grandmother or your grandfather, you know, you give them extra special attention, extra respect because, you know, their ability and what they know and, you know, things like that for the knowledge that they have and because of them just having the aspect of being an elder, period, you give their what they say and their opinions tend might carry a little more weight or you know not even talking about elders your parents you know if you're in a group with your friends and your friends say something okay but if your mother or your father or both of them say it then it carries that extra weight with this so it's not as if you're saying that things that you're below any kind of divine figure but it's just that you are showing that respect because they have such power or that you respect what they do and what they're capable of not out of fear but just you know hey I give you this honor by me lowering my head just out of respect and just to show that I recognize your authority as a person without diminishing your own capacity and your own being as a person so you know even playing field again up to the individual but you got to look at both sides of the fence before, you know, you decide to make um, a judgment call as far as, you know, which is right, which is wrong. But even that in itself is subjective and depends on who is wearing the shoes. So, with that, um, I always actually wanted to make a video on this. I'm glad I finally got around to it. Uh, it took a while, like two, three months, but, you know, I got to it. It's done better late than never. So anyway, this is Dishadara here. I would like to thank you for watching this video. And I hope you subscribe and comment or contact me if you have any questions, comments, or concerns or anything of that nature. So yeah, thanks for watching and have a very blessed day.